In this video I'm going to show you how to flash one of the routers shown on this list, preferably one of the seven listed right here, the Atheros based with Robin Mesh firmware, which is what this system works best with and which is what I recommend. I actually recommend this EOC 2611P Ingenious Router. It's awesome for what you get for the money. And the Bullet 2 and Bullet 2 HP are good. Of course the Nano Station 2 is good. But the Ingenious 2611P is an awesome radio. Plus you can run it with this Gateway PC which is explained at the bottom and it has the instructions and the download where you can make a just grab any 32-bit PC and put two NIC cards in there and slap this ISO in there, burn it to a CD and boot it up on there and it'll install this gateway machine and turn it into a router and that's where you can take any off-the-shelf router and just shut off DHCP and plug this right into the LAN port of it and just backfeed the LAN right out through the Wi-Fi and you don't really need any of the special firmwares but to create a mesh network you need one of these routers here or these other anaptics here so first off is to download it says click here to download the one touch firmware flash tool click that and save it to a known location in your PC in this case Once you have it in that location, go to that location and create a shortcut. Right mouse click, send to desktop. And this is all made to run on Windows XP. There are ways to put it on Windows Vista and Windows 7 and I'll post instructions for that under the uh, support page for under frequently asked questions. But this works best, everything about this works best on Windows XP and running Firefox for your browser everything else can have issues once you've done that <clears throat> go find that shortcut that you created and run it and it's the installer choose your language hit next create a desktop icon yes and then do you want to install yes now it's unzipping it and installing it in windows and then no, don't run it quite yet. Just click finish. Now, you need to get your firmware and put it into that flash tool and, and that just got installed. So go to your server and log in as the site owner or the admin. It's under router, under system, router, router firmware, pro mesh stable. But we're looking here to go add a Wi-Fi node and in there the first line says router firmware click here to download now click that grab this ap51 flash.exe file and then you want to save it specifically to c colon firmware flash tool that got created when you ran that installer and it'll be there every time just overwrite the one that's in there the one that's in there defaults to open mesh dashboard which is like the Chiliway version of Robin 2695 but it's aimed at open mesh. Now I just replaced it with the one I built for my dashboard.chiliwave.com server. So now fill out the rest of the information and give your router a name which will be the SSID that people see when they connect to the Wi-Fi in the building. It'll be the router name. That's what they'll see is the signal name in the air and then you can give it a description that you like enter the MAC address make sure the alphanumerics are in all capital letters and the MAC address will be there will be one or two listed on the device and it's like nine out of ten times it's the first one listed there so you, you, you fill all that out and you have to enter a latitude and longitude and there will be a link here to click and, and uh, find your lat long by address the contact person of the node the email address of the person with the node phone number at the node and you can put an address to a webcam right here too and in the map when you click it it'll actually view the webcam 
So once that's all the way you like it, click Save Settings and it'll add the node to the network. <coughs> now we want to flash the node. The node will show up on the map like this and you can also click and drag and move the nodes around the map. So it also shows how they're meshed all together. This one they all feed off of Aubrey Tower and it meshes everything else. So next we're going to flash the actual firmware. So when we ran it, it said create a desktop icon and it did. So I basically, the first time I run this, it's going to ask me if it's going to check for when PCAP installed. And if it's not, it's going to install it and say yes, go ahead and install it. And then next it's going to scan what network adapters it finds on there and put a list of what the numbers, one, two, three, four, and it'll ask which number corresponds to the network adapter that you have plugged directly into the router. So now you take the router with a Cat5 and just plug one cable into the router or the power over Ethernet injector and another cable from there to the router. And the other side goes right into your this PC that you're flashing it with. And uh, you choose that adapter out of this list of numbers. It's usually number two. And then hit enter and it'll flash and so what, it'll remember that after every the first time you run it and the next time it won't ask for that so now I'm gonna run this and it already will detect that those things are done and it's telling me to make sure the router is connected and I'm just gonna power cycle it If this were an ubiquity router, then I would hold down the reset button and power it up and keep holding the button for 10 seconds to put it in flash mode. And then this firmware flash tool will find it. This is a 3201A that I'm flashing right now, and you launch everything but ubiquities. You launch that by just power cycling it. Ubiquities, you put it in recovery mode and have it standing by and then run this flash tool. So this will run and it takes 9 or 10 minutes to flash it. And if it's the ubiquity type, it will flash in just a few seconds. But don't power down the device. Just let it run for probably 8 or 10 minutes because it uploads the file real quick. But it's sitting there thinking for 5 or 10 minutes, flashing it internally and saving it into its memory. Okay, once the router is finished flashing, you'll get this message on the screen that it's success and flash is complete. Do you want to flash another? And you could click well, yes and just plug in another router right out of the box and just go through a whole case of them if you want. But I'm going to click no and that will close that program. So now the router is flashed. So if I go back over to my dashboard, it's going to check in. When it does, it will turn green on the map. And if I click Wi-Fi node list, it will show me my routers and if it's never checked in it will say never checked in here and once it does it will turn green and it will say like you know one minute ago that the router checked in once it checks in it will grab the configuration from this network settings page and it will apply all of it so that's how you set it up and as soon as it shows up it will turn green on the map here and the lines will show it mashed into all the other routers so there's how you flash a router and add it to the dashboard for more information go to chiliwave.com